This outfit is cheeks. I just feel like she looks like her name is Patrick. Whatever that means. This looks like a condom. I know you see somehow the world will change for me. Hi, my name is Donnie and welcome to the channel or welcome back for all my returning customers. Yes, yes, yes. I clap for my subscribers. Because I love them. I just feel like it's nice. It's not often that someone takes the time to make you feel appreciated and treasured. It's been a while since I sat down in one of my videos. Not a big deal, I know. I felt like it would be weird if I didn't point it out. We'll see how this angle works out, but this is what we're going with for now. But anyways, that's not what you're here for. You're not here to discuss camera angles and the reason why I'm sitting. You're here to talk about these Oscar looks. What makes me qualified, you ask? <laughs> Nothing. All you need to worry about. Oh my God. Yeah, just cause I'm sitting don't mean I forgot. Where is it at? Go get it. There's no way you're about to sit up here and talk about these people when you dehydrated. Lips crusting oh! off as we speak. Everybody else bring it in. Cheers. Oh, and yes. Yes, this is water. Hold on. Anybody that's doubting me? Yeah, I have the angle now. These are real sips. Can you see the water in the straw? Can you see it? Zoom in. Let's start talking about these people. One thing I will say, anybody black automatically gets a pass. What? Outfit is fire, I don't care. I I don't want to hear it. We get too much judgment on a daily basis about our hair, what we wear, how we wear it, cultural nuances. All black people are getting a pass from me. Personally. Also, most of these people I don't know. This is just the opinion of someone who puts on clothes. So let's begin. Here we have Lily Gladstone. Oh, I don't like it. I don't hate it but I don't like it. It's giving someone's interpretation of a part of the American flag, and that's just an automatic no for me. I don't think it looks bad on her. Coleman Domingo? Yes, Coleman. I'm sorry, can I call you Coleman? Mr. Domingo, he has that shit on. Yes, this is a well moisturized man. The buttons accentuate the jewelry. The bow tie is cute. The silver in the middle, doing a little much for me personally, but the vision still stands. Classy. And then look at his little smirk. They got him mid pose though. Why would y'all do Mr. Domingo like that? This is what I'm talking about. This is why all black people must have a pass because yes, my man's looks good and it's very apparent, but but I'm sure this wasn't his best pose of the evening. Also, I'm not really doing a rating system. <laughs> We're literally just talking about these outfits. Okay, Divine Joy Randolph. Radiant, like a radiant. This is Black Bubbles. And also, is that her real name, Divine Joy? Love it. <laughs> America Ferreira. Something's wrong. I mean, <laughs> Hold on, let me adjust my color resolution. Maybe that's the issue. Hold on, Ferrara. Mm, whatever color this is, I can't even tell. Is this, hold on, let me look at it on my phone. This can't be. No, no, that's the same color. God bless America. Ugh, Zendaya, a fan favorite, yeah. Yeah, she put that on. Hair looks good. There's a little quaff at the end. That's a bad bitch pose. Like, look how she ate that. Color is immaculate, which is really crazy because I feel like America Ferrara's dress was this same color scheme in a different font of dress and it didn't work out. And this feels like it shouldn't be cute. Are those palm trees? What What is that? on the dress. I'm not even a Zendaya girly. Like, I feel like people hype Zendaya up and there's no reason to bring her down. She's unproblematic. She has a boyfriend that's shorter than her. She's a phenomenal actress. Like, there's no reason to speak negatively about Zendaya, but I'm not one of those people who are like a Zendaya fan just for the sake of being a Zendaya fan. And I watched Shake It Up. She's even making the side part work and the side part is apparently out. We have Gillian Murphy. I think his face is ruining it. 
respectfully. Imagine that same outfit on Mr. Domingo. No, 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 no. He'd eat. But this man, he looks like a butler. He looks like his name is Jeeves. I think they might have actually got one of the servers on the red carpet on accident. I think they saw the Botox in the face and they were like, oh, this is obviously a celebrity. I think that's what happened there. Next is Emma Stone. <laughs> She looks like the oyster that the pearl came out of. It's giving clam, oyster, muscle. Would you call this a dress? Like, what was the point of the top? I think she was played. I think this is two different dresses. The two shades of this romper dress, they don't even match. Not that shades have to match for an outfit to be cohesive, but this is, this is uncohesive. Bro, what are you talking about, man? That's what this is. If someone put me in that, we would fight. Florence pin or puh. I like it. I think this is cute. I think her hair is cute. Her makeup is good. The top corset part is giving burlesque mermaid. It's hard to make silver look good and I think she made it look good. I think the color goes nicely with the color of her hair. A nice simple white nail. Those red shoes. Mm. <laughs> Next we have Blue Eilish. <laughs> Brother, uh, what's that? Um, I'm finding it. I'm sorry, this is ass. This outfit is cheeks. Top half of the outfit is good. She could have finished this off with a nice, clean, like oversized dress pants, which I feel like she's done maybe a lot or something, which is why she didn't do it. You're giving Wednesday school Bible study. And you can do church and it be cute, but this is not. This is bad. I think that this is atrocious. I think that she looks like somebody's rug. I know that skirt is not comfy. It's making me itch just looking at it. The purse isn't bad. And her makeup looks really good. Her hair looks good but the whole thing together just looks like something out of a scary movie this is a sleep paralysis demon i don't care we have anya taylor joy she looks like a dead mackerel mackerel in a can Ugh. the longer i look at it the more she looks like she's shedding i'm not gonna continue to look at this i don't want to see it anymore that's all that's all my thoughts on that nothing more to say greta gerwig this is somebody's mom at the oscars someone was invited to the oscars and bought their mother greta why are we still rocking the karen cut there's also something like where the face isn't matching the rest of the body, respectfully. There could have been something different done here where she could have had a dress that I think flattered her figure more. There's nothing wrong with her figure or anything. I just don't think that this shape of dress is very flattering for her. The places in which it's accentuating her body, it's giving easy to draw. The necklace is nice. The dress also makes her arms look abnormally long. I just feel like she looks like her name is Patrick. Whatever that means. Next is Margot Bobby. Yes, this is nice. I like this. It's sleek, but the little black labias on the dress give it some texture. I don't know if it's sequined or what, but it's shiny. I do think something different could have been done with the hair. It doesn't look like her hair was done, at least from this angle. She could have done a little blowout. I think that would have given it that extra little... You know, she could use a necklace, but this is fine. Next is Ryan Gosling. Yeah. <laughs> this is a white man in nice clothing. I like the sparkly accents. The scruff looks good. Maybe he should have covered up the chest a little whorish. But overall, 10 out of 10 fit. Girl, stop playing with us right now. <laughs> Next is Ariana Grande. Ew! I think at this point, there's no reason to be standing Ariana Grande. Her music glorifies cheating. Her looks are subpar. She's clearly less than a good human. What is this? She's too little for this, first of all. She not talking to me like, you too fucking little to be. The color is nice. The light pink mixed with her blonde hair kind of washes her out. She looks like a vulva, like the lining of a uterus. I don't know what she was going for with this. Next is Sandra Hiller, and um, I, <laughs> what in the Marvel super villain is going on here? <laughs> this is outrageous, she can't be serious right now. There's no way, this is for fake. This is insane. She had to have hurt somebody on the way in. Oh my God, ugh. She looks like a barrette, a fancy barrette. And please forgive me, Miss Hiller. Ordinary, average looking people just get made famous. There's no character. I think I would have actually booed if I saw this in person. And then she didn't even do anything with her hair. She just greased it back. This is, 
no. Next is Emily Blunt. This looks like a condom. All they did was dress her in a Trojan. I'm not talking about this. There's nothing to discuss here. We have Lupita Nyong'o. Ten. I think she looks like a pretty bird. Next we have Greta Lee. Are those pockets? If she has pockets in those, this is a fantastic outfit. You know what? I like it because I feel like there's pockets in those. I think the the side could have been integrated into the dress a little more, but I like this color block palette thing and I think it looks nice on her. Plus it has pockets. So that's an automatic win. Next is Charlize Theron. All around 10. Mm-hmm. Dress is nice, cute, silky smooth. That choker? Amazing. Dangling earrings? This is cute. Is it Charlie's or Charlie's? I don't know, but yes. It doesn't look like you're going to the Oscars. This looks more like you're going to dinner, but yes. Jennifer Lawrence? I don't hate it. I feel like this isn't a look that you're supposed to like. There's very few situations in which polka dots work, and I don't think they work here. I think her hair looks good. I think her makeup looks good. The necklace is cute, but this dress, it looks like an ink stain. Next is Carrie Mulligan. I don't know who this woman is, but she has this dress on. This is cute. She looks like a swan, an elegant lady. She looks like she has money. That haircut doesn't work for everyone. It works for her. I wish there wasn't like a nude wait a damn minute <laughs> wait a damn is that her bone or is that the is that a tan line i can't tell if that's her skin or not if that's a part of the dress i wish it wasn't there if that's her then it's fine next is kirsten dunce <laughs> um this is kirsten dunce in a dress there's literally nothing to say about this next is simu liu i hear he's low-key problematic I don't know, but he wearing his suit though. The brooch holding the suit together though. <laughs> I think it's cute, casual, nice, simple. Again, a lot of chess. Men are whores. You're a whore. You just slept with everybody. That watch is awful though. They just always got to do something to ruin the outfit. Like, see, Moo, this could have been an all around 10 out of 10. We have Cynthia Ervio, goddess of the earth. Ah uh, yes, a queen. Here we have an Arrivo root in full bloom. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Next we have Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade. I didn't know they were still together. <laughs> this picture is like the ultimate representation of sticking beside him. Dwayne, whoo. But we're not talking about that today. We're talking about their looks. I like Dwayne's outfit. I think that he's wearing a suit. I think he is an accessory to her outfit, which a lot of people like. Uh, I don't. Hold on, actually, beautiful black couple. Love to see it. She's like a, a tin foil chandelier absolutely stunning next we have rami yusuf there's something i despise about this i'm not quite sure what it is i think it's the shoes because like low key this is a cool silhouette is it though no well <laughs> i think the shoes is just making him look goofy my man's looks like a stick of licorice next is ava duvernay Yes, looking like somebody's expensive purse. <laughs> yes. Her makeup though, her makeup is amazing. What is that red dot? What is that? Next up is Celine's song. This is what Billie Eilish's outfit wanted to be. This is what Billie Eilish was trying to pull off. And I know these are different designers, but Celine has this on. Billie didn't have that on. They cropped the school blazer thing perfectly. It's tailored amazingly. The long skirt, they hit it with the long skirt. That's what the outfit needed. And then the stockings or whatever she got on. I love Oh yeah, this outfit eats. I think a different hair choice might have helped the outfit eat a little more. But this, this is fashion, at least to me. Next is Christian Friedel. He looks like the crayon color that you never use. Next up is Liza Koshi. 10 out of 10. Red is a good color on her. The roses on the arm? That little bang swoop that she always has going on? Still eating. The upper blush or whatever that's called? Amazing. The flare at the bottom? <laughs> This is an outfit, eating. I love everything about this. Ate them up. Next is Justine Trite. Whose butch mom is this? 
stripes are very hard to make look good and let me tell you she did not make them look good but i'm gonna assume that this is a non-straight woman and say that this outfit is fine <laughs> Issa Rae, gorgeous glowing queen i heard some people don't like her red carpet looks in general and don't like this one i think she makes just about anything look good honestly like her skin tone just goes well with everything whatever hue of brown that this woman is is perfect and i'm jealous mark ronson and grace gummer this looks like off-brand jessica rabbit and roger rabbit that's all i'm gonna say about it next is matthew mcconaughey and bruno madley she looks amazing i think her dress is cute the necklace is cute the design on the hands i don't know what that's doing but doesn't look bad to me the wrist jewelry is cute off the shoulder amazing i think her hair would have looked even better if she had gone for like a silky clean wave hairstyle but i think that her hair doesn't necessarily look bad i think it compliments matthew who is I don't know if, if it's the angle they got you at, Matthew uh, McConaughey, but uh, he looks like... I feel like they argued on the way here about his outfit because they don't look cohesive together. At least the off-brand Roger Rabbit and Jessica Rabbit look like they go together. These two look like the paparazzi made them take a photo together. She was there already and someone was like, Matthew, get in here. Why would he ruin her outfit like that? That just made me mad. Next is Lena Waithe. You know, someone told me I looked like her once and uh, I'm gonna say she looks good. <laughs> Rita Moreno looks like a dead crow. I mean, she looks fun. Again, I don't know these people, but she looks like somebody legendary. And she looks like she's having a good time. I won't rain on that parade. Laverne Cox. Eating. For some reason, Laverne Cox is the embodiment of Essence Magazine. The hell are you talking <laughs> Does that make sense? Tell me if that makes sense. Because that's all I'm going to say about it. Next is Annette Benning. I didn't know you could wear pajamas to the Oscars. And I think we should normalize that. I like this. And she's the only one that I've seen successfully wear sunglasses on the red carpet and have them be kind of okay. I think she should have chosen a different lip color. But the short haircut... I like it. I'm not gonna lie. She has that shit on. Next is Dwayne The Rock Johnson and, and uh, he looks like wet cement. And why do his pants look so tight? And why is he showing so much cleavage? And why does his top half look so stiff? Hey, why are your hands so freakishly big? I don't know. I feel like this is what he was going for though. Like I feel like he put this on with an image and he achieved whatever image that he had in his mind. Erica Alexander? Um, no, it, it looks, I think it's great. I think this is amazing. It, it's, it's artistic. You gotta understand that this is the artistic choice and that it wasn't her fault. I see the vision. It's like when you're planning on um upholstering furniture and then we all love cotton candy. It, the flower necklace, it ties it all together. You just, you you don't understand, I'm, I'm sure, but this is amazing work there. Like you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like Next, Kelty Knight. I think this is what Ariana was trying to go for. I think this is the dress Ariana saw, but then Kelty was in it already, and so she had to go with a different dress. I think this is a nice, bold choice, but there is no jewelry, really, and the hair, you can't really see it, and she looks stiff, and her smile isn't the greatest, but if we just take a look at the dress, it's a great dress. There are plenty of people that could make this dress work. She's just not making it work. You know who would've looked good in this dress? Lupita. Eugene Lee Yang from the Try Guys. Eugene ate that down. That actually looks amazing on him. He looks so good. Actually, he won. Yeah. <laughs> this is lovely. This is beautiful. Everyone else should have really went home after they saw him. Again with the influencers eating these celebrities up. We leave off on Eugene. That was a finale. Amazing. If I could give you Gina Rose, I would. And that wraps up the 2024 Oscar looks. Thoughts, opinions, questions, concerns, comments are open. Let me know your favorite outfit. Let me know your least favorite outfit. Before you go, second family sip broth. Did you forget? <coughs> Sorry, I'm still gagging on Eugene's outfit. If you watched the whole video, yes. Yes. I would like you to finish. Yes. Mm-hmm. 
thank you come on you're gonna have to look it even works if you finish it this way it's like two different worlds coming together right anyone in this comment section says that i look like lena wave i will block you and deem you homophobic i don't care